Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using some new products from Honeybee Stamps Adventure Awaits release. I have both of the new paper pads, Lovely Layers Owl, Shield Layering Frames. I am using one of the branch images from an older release. This is Lovely Layers Winter Greenery. And for a sentiment, I'm using To The Wise One Stamp and Coordinating Honeycut Dies. I selected one of the lovely designs from the Adventure Awaits paper pad, and I cut it out using the shield layering frame. For the background of my card, I'm using a light beige polka dot pattern paper, and this is from the Pinstripes and Polka Dots Outdoors collection. I'll layer it on some brown cardstock, and you may have noticed I do have a cutout from the very center of that brown cardstock. I'll be using that later on in the video. Next, I'll adhere the shield die cut to my card using Honeybee Stamps Precision Tip Glue. It's hard to see in the video, but the die adds beautiful etch detail all along that outside edge of the shield. I'm placing an acrylic block on the right side since it didn't want to lay flat right away. Now I'll start assembling the lovely layer owl. I've already gone ahead and cut out all of the pieces. I selected several different shades of brown cardstock, and for one piece, I'm using some white cardstock. Honeybee's lovely layer sets are always some of my favorites. They add beautiful detail, and they really aren't very difficult to assemble. If you're ever unsure, they do have layering guides provided on their website. I generally use colored cardstock or sometimes pattern paper for the lovely layer sets, but I know some of the designers will cut it all out of white cardstock and use different mediums to color them. No matter what you use, the results are always beautiful. I will admit at this point, the owl does look a little strange, especially with that large white piece, but most of that will be covered up with the other layers. I am using a pair of reverse tweezers to hold these smaller pieces while I put glue on the back side. After attaching the last piece for the owl's face, I'll add the tiny little eyes, and I cut these out from some yellow mirror cardstock. Since they are super tiny, I am switching glues. I'm using Barely Art glue since it has that teeny tiny metal tip. I'm also using an embellishment wand to pick up those tiny pieces. So there is my owl all assembled. The die set also includes a branch for the owl to perch on. I wasn't sure what color I wanted, so I cut one out of a dark brown cardstock and the other from gray. And I decided to go with the dark brown. It had more contrast against the pattern paper. I'll put a little bit of glue on the back of the owl's foot to attach him to the branch. I will be popping up the owl using some foam dimension. This is from Honeybee Stamps. It's their thin black foam strips. I know I say it all the time, but this is some of my favorite foam dimension. They have it available in black and white, and it's super thin. I think it's about one millimeter thickness. So it'll add that little bit of dimension without making the card super bulky. It's also easy to cut, since I will need some tiny pieces to go behind the branch. I'll remove the release paper and adhere my owl more on the left side of the card. From the Lovely Layer Winter Greenery set, I cut out several pine branches from some dark green cardstock. I've also stamped and cut out the sentiment Another Year Wiser. Using the outline die, I cut out the second piece. You can see that brown layer, and I did cut that out from the background cardstock layer. I'll glue the two pieces together so there's a drop shadow of that brown cardstock underneath the sentiment. Then I'll put foam dimension on the back to pop it up, remove the release paper, and adhere the sentiment in the lower right hand corner. After I've attached the sentiment, I'll start adding the pine branches. First, I'll trim off the bottom portion of the pine branches since I will be tucking them behind the owl and also the branch that the owl's sitting on. I'll put glue on the back, adhere the first branch behind the owl. The next two will go on the right side of the branch where the owl is perched. For one of the pieces, I'll have some of the pine needles in front of the owl. For the other branch on the right side, made sure none of the pine needles sat in front of the sentiment. And the final branch, I'll cut it in half so I have two smaller pieces. 
Tuck one behind the owl and the other on the lower portion of the branch. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I really like how this card turned out. The new Lovely Layers Owl image is amazing and I may use it to make Father's Day cards for the residents at a nearby retirement home. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.